Man, it's been a it's been a couple of days since I posted about Charleston White, but Charleston White, he did two interviews that were taken down. So with the 85 South show, which is ran by uh, DC Young Fly, and uh, I forgot the other dude's name, and then Funny Marco. Funny Marco, he has a podcast now. So he did two interviews with them, and they both took down the interviews because I guess they have a relationship with T.I., which is, it is stupid. I hate, I hate this playing sides game when it comes to media and rappers and celebrities and playing sides and who who not to interview. Just like with the whole Kanye thing. Like, Kanye was on Drake Champs, and now they want to take down his interview. But we got academics potentially interviewing Charleston White again. So, Charleston White, he was on um, Off the Records, which is academics podcast. But, so, WAC 100 calls academics to tell him to do an interview with Charleston White because everybody else is picking sides. So here's a footage of Wack and academics talking about Charleston White right here. Charleston White, you gotta do it, bro. No, 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 no. Nigga, I've been, yo, yo, hold on. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. You have to do it because everybody else, they gonna play the street shit and they gonna do it. You gotta do it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That motherfucker stands on his shit and he don't give a fuck. And he's making snitching, not snitching, telling the truth popular. And if that nigga see New Year's, the streets is fucked up. He done marked the whole Texas up. The niggas hosting clubs, bro. Yo, 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 why? I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. So he he going back with back and forth with Ti. Remember, me and Ti we talked about the Nation, so we was on the phone. We chopped it up. Now he going back and forth with Ti about his son and Boosie. Hold on, what what? Hey, what the whack mean by uh, if he makes it to New Year's, Texas is gonna be fucked up in Mark. I don't know what he meant by that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even know what that meant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I post this shit. I ain't gonna, say I ain't gonna lie, I post this shit because I do think this motherfucker be funny too. Yo, T.I. T. hit me and say, yo, yo, let me have a conversation with you. Right when he hit me, I look up <clears> online, it said 85 South Show, remove all their episodes with them, and Funny Marco did. So I said, oh. See, now that's fucked up. See, that that's messed up. These rappers are getting butt hurt. Because of somebody's opinion. Charleston White is not a threat. He's just a very opinionated ass dude. It's like, even if he was a threat, it's like, what he's saying is not bad. What he's saying, he's not promoting violence. He's not promoting death. He's promoting he's promoting all the stuff that he wants for the black community, which is good things. Like us to stop killing each other. Or stop promoting the gangster rap music to kids and whatnot. But let's continue. I think he about to be like, you you one of the platforms out here. Don't you got to stop posting them because this is what we saying right now. That's what's the move. And I'm thinking about, I'm like, yo, you know, I wanted to be respectful about, you know, Wayne's daughter. So I had the conversation, but I'm like, this type of shit. Should I just be silencing a nigga? You tell me. Tell me why. What you think? So basically, T.I. called academics to tell him to stop posting fucking Charleston White. T.I. is telling people not to post this nigga, which is wrong. Why would you silence? Why are you trying to silence somebody because they came for you and your family? Basically, like, you're, you're, you're pressing other fucking bloggers. You're, 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 you're pressing bloggers like Academic Sates and what, what is it? Uh, 85 South Show, Funny Marco to not, to not post them, to take down the interviews they got with him. It's like, why even do that, bro? Like, that don't make no sense unless he is, uh, unless this man is just pushing your buttons just like that. It's like, why are you letting Charleston White get under your skin, T.I.? Why? Which I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I feel like both of them can have a, a debate or something or a conversation man to man. You feel me? Because I feel like T.I. T.I. community activist too. I don't know. Let, let's finish the video. Ah, uh, bro, bro, you got an obligation, bro. 
Cubs look, Cubs look. Come on, bro. You know I stand by this shit. Niggas post shit on me. I don't say nothing because it's gonna get posted. Like, bro, nigga can say what they want. Dude went from nothing to everybody know who he is. And see, T.I. man, cause he's saying some real shit. Yo, look, his son been on a rampage for like two years, bro. Fucking with bro, facts. I'm not gonna lie, facts, bro. Why is he, he's telling the truth? And Wack, yo, I did not expect that from Wack. I thought Wack was going to be on some hating shit. But Wack is right. Charleston White is right about T.I.'s son. This nigga, this nigga been, this nigga been trying to terrorize this community for two years now. This nigga's not a gangster. We've seen this nigga grow up on TV. Like, what, what the fuck really is the problem? What's going on here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to ask you, though, because this is what T.I. told me when I talked to him. He said, yo. He said, don't matter. He said, kids off limit. That's what he told me. They did. You, you, you got kids. You see, I don't got, I remember when I was talking to T.I., he said, act. Hey, bro, and my, let me tell you what T.I. should have did. Hey, son, why are you fucking with this man? You don't know this nigga. Why are you fucking with this nigga? Why are you fucking with this man? You don't know this nigga. Why are you putting your nose into this shit? Because now everything he's saying, he like, nigga. I learned how to be the tipster from your daddy. He <laughs> nah, that was wild. Nah, he was wild. Nah, nah, hold on. Nah, whack. He was wild. Nah, 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 whack. He was wild. Hold on. He digging up some old shit with T.I. We buried that, though. That's not old, bro. Rat don't go nowhere. Nah, we buried that, though. If that's like, the case, if that's the case, how many years does it take for us to start putting our nose in about situations like this? Nah, no, no. We got, we got one more year with 6 9 and it's over. We got five. It's a five-year minimum. It's a five. Yeah, after 2023. All right, look, I'm gonna end it here because I ain't gonna play the whole nine minutes. But basically, what academics are saying, fucking, they suppressing Charleston White. They taking down interviews, right? Because of Ti. Ti contacted this man to stop doing interviews with. Um, do not post anything about Charleston White and don't do any interviews. Whack is basically telling him, oh, you have to do it. You gotta do it because nobody else is talking about her. So you might as well you. Since you're not the gangster, you're not the hood nigga, why don't you do the interviews with Charleston White? Why don't you post Charleston White? Basically, basically that's that's what that's what WAP 100 is telling uh academics. But uh yeah, bro, like Charleston White is still getting under people's skin. It's like, bro, like why is it why is it that this old ass man that's telling facts about our community, about rap music, about black celebrities, why is he wrong? Why is he wrong? He's nothing wrong. And that's the thing. Black people are hypocrites, bro. And I like, bro, I, if you're black and you watching this, bro, like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, niggas are hypocrites. Not all black people, but the ones that want to be stuck in this ignorant mindset to where, like, we got to kill a nigga, rob a nigga, shoot a nigga, murder this, murder that, all that music type shit going on, all this snitching. Oh, we don't, we don't want to better our communities, bro. Like, bro, this has to stop. And, like, I done seen this man get more... He, he he got pressed more times by rappers by rappers and other black people than 6 9 And 6 9 is the one that snitched. That's tough. Like, that's tough. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video uh, right here. Should academics post Charleston White and do interviews with him or not? Y'all let me know in the comments. It's been your boy for for it's been your boy for vibe. Yo, it's that it's that it's that cola, man. I'm about to burp. But it's been your boy for a vibe. Like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. I'm out.